The, the games one describes as gateway games are probably my favorite area of games. But that, that's what I have time for these days, and, uh, and I've always liked those. Uh, um, sort of in, in some sense, I would say one of the greatest gateway games is poker, right? Uh, you can play it as, for as short a time as you like or as uh, long a time as you like and uh, as uh, seriously as you like or as casually as you like. So uh, when people say gateway and filler games, oftentimes those terms don't carry the depth of love I have for that category, and I think it underestimates their potential. When I was uh, in graduate school in mathematics, I had this game uh, called Robo Rally. And in fact, I designed it many years before that. And uh, um, we had tried to find a publisher for this game for seven years. Uh, and we'd had people actually pay us money and say they would publish it and then sit on it for a year or two and then give it back. But eventually we found Wizards of the Coast, uh, who, who um, had, were young and naive and uh, had uh, lots of ambitions. And so they were very interested in doing Robo Rally, uh, but it was too expensive. And so they asked me to come up with a game that was cheaper than Robo Rally. And uh, after I met with them, I uh, came up with this idea for a trading card game and uh, asked them about that. And uh, Peter Adkisson, who was the president of Wizards at the time, was very excited about the idea. It became so successful that, uh, that within a couple years of it coming out, within one year of it coming out, I left uh, uh, teaching. And uh, um, since then, I've been working on games. I, I certainly didn't anticipate it in the sense that uh, I'd seen many, many games before, which were very good, but were very small. So to see magic blow up like that was, uh, was uh, gratifying and unexpected. Um, and it, it still surprises me when I think about it today. Well, Hivemind is a, a game that I came up with in the 90s. Um, it's a party game, and I played it as a party game uh, when we got together for Christmas or uh, had a bunch of people over, we would play Hivemind. The story behind Hivemind is that uh, the queen of the hive has determined that there's not enough food for a particularly harsh winter that's coming up, and so she's going to eject some unlucky drones. Um, <laughs> Excellent. Who <laughs> wants to be the unlucky drone? In the test. And uh, in the test, it doesn't matter whether you're correct or not. Uh, all that matters is that you think like the other bees. It's on its surface, it looks like it might be something like a, a scruples type game where you have to answer and other people are trying to predict what other people what another person is going to answer okay. so uh to start off let's uh let's write down uh three things that are white but those games have always uh not worked with my group because the person who's answering in the scruples style situation has too much motivation to lie in the game and with hive mind that's all sidestepped it doesn't matter whether you're lying or telling the truth or or, or anything, or, or correct or incorrect, all that matters is you answer like everybody else. Sounds like a fun game. Uh, I, I think it is a fun game. From all of us at Calliope Games, thanks for watching, and we hope that you're going to enjoy the Titan series.